Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable uh, baby shoes. These are like a ballerina but with a tie just for that extra, uh, you know, you can tie it there for the extra security just in case if you're worried that the shoe might fall off the uh, baby's foot. So I've attached a cute little bow. I've showed you how to make these in one of my tutorials, but I will show you in this video also. Um, these are zero to three months, and which are approximately about three and a half, three to three and a half. Yep, three and a half salt. I've used uh, DK yarn, and uh, what you will need for this tutorial is my magic hook, 3.5 millimeter, scissors, and a needle, of course, for tying in the uh, loose ends. So I will be using Peito Everyday DK in this gorgeous cream. I've made one shoe, and I will show you how to make the other one. Like I said, this is zero to three months with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and you can make a um, newborn size if you wish. I would drop down a hook to three millimeter and uh, if you want to make three to six I would uh, use a uh, four millimeter and you can also make this in uh, six to nine months you can stretch it to six to nine months with a DK yarn and I would say um, a five millimeter hook so I will leave those instructions in the comments uh, in the description box uh, below so um, so let's begin so these like I said, it's a DK yarn, 100% acrylic. So let's begin. This is very similar to the cuff booties that I showed you earlier on, the bottom part of the shoe. But uh, I will show you how to do this. So start off with a slip knot. And chain nine. Now, for the first round, you do a half double crochet into the third chain along. So one, two, three, and half double crochet. In the same space, put another half double crochet. For the next five stitches, half double crochet in each stitch. You should have one stitch remaining and in that very last stitch you place six half double crochets so this in effect turns your work around now we work along the other side of the chain so remember not there in the very first one place a half double crochet so we need five half double crochets so we've done one four more two three and four five in total let me just check that's right one two three four five yeah in the very last uh, stitch you need to place another three half double crochets now um, you can either go there but I think I've showed you in my previous video there's always this little V here I always place it in there so three half double crochets into there okay now you need to slip stitch into that second chain there That's round one. Second round, chain up three. Into that very same hole, put another double crochet. So the chain three acts as a double crochet. So you, now you have two into the same place. So for the next two, so here and here, we need to put two double crochets in each stitch. There's two in that one. And two in that one. So we have two, four and six. 
work across here five double crochets two three four and five in the next six stitches one two three four five six we will do two double crochets in each stitch along so two double crochets in each stitch for the next six stitches that's one two three and four five and six So five double crochets in the next five, one in each. Okay, you should have three stitches remaining, one, two, and three. You will place two double crochets in each one. So that's your first lot. Second one, and that's your third. Slip stitch onto the third chain. One, two, three. Here. Okay. That is your sole. Easy as that. Just snip this. Okay. Now chain one and into that very same hole do a double crochet, uh, sorry, half double crochet. We are working in the back loops, so not the front, not all of it together, just the back. So work your way around to here, work doing half double crochets in each stitch and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you should have 34 half double crochets on the back loops only and then you slip stitch into the first half double crochet here. Now, this is where I'm always extra but I like things to be perfect so you can see it's a little bit that way. I always slip stitch one across to make it absolutely central. So just Put your hook through, pull the yarn, and slip. It's a bit more central now, yeah? What we will do now is chain one and do nine half double crochets. Right, what we will do now to for the toe part is a stitch called two half double crochets together. We did this on the cuff booties in the other tutorial, but I will show you again. So we need to do eight sets. And the way you would do this is yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull through a loop, pull through two, and leave two uh, stitches, sorry, two hoops on there. Then yarn again, go to the next stitch, pull through a loop and just the two so you've got three and then pull through all three show you one more time yarn over go into the stitch pull through a loop pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch pull through a loop pull through two three on the uh, on the hook and pull through all three so you can see two stitches come what it look like a V basically but yeah two stitches into one so we've done two we need to do eight in total to so go ahead and do the other six
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the remaining stitches we will do half double crochets like we did on that side. So into the next one and half double crochet. And you should have nine. The same as the opposite and then just slip stitch into that first half double crochet and pull your yarn through. That's the first round and there's one more round to do. So chain one again into the same stitch that you came out from, half double crochet. And we want nine in total, so there's one. Go ahead and do another eight. Double check, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more, nine, okay. Now we are back to that the top the toe part and here we will do exactly what we did in this this round two double crochets together stitch and we will do four we did eight here we will now do four so place four so yarn over into the stitch pull up a loop pull through two yarn over next one pull through two three on the hook and then pull all, pull through all three to do another three please okay and you should have nine half double crochets remaining Slip stitch to the top, yarn one, and cut your yarn. You need to cut a little bit. Okay, so here we have the base of the shoe, oh, sorry, the actual shoe. Now, the next thing that we do is do the um, ties. And the way you would do that is Slip knot, chain 25. Okay. Grab your shoe. Both shoes are exactly the same. Now, you can probably see, maybe I should have used a brighter colour, but we've got four of these double crochet stitches together. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four, right? And then next to that, we have one, two, three double crochet, uh, sorry, uh, half double crochets. So where I prefer to put my hook, so count one, two, three, and then on top of the third, you need to attach so you've got your chain of 25, put your hook through, so show you again, one, two, three, is that right? Yes, one, two, three, here, sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. As I was saying, maybe I should have used a brighter colour. I couldn't see myself then. Right, so go in there and do a single crochet and attach it. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you need to do seven this side. So where you need to go into next is this little join here so that will be 
another seven on this side. One, two, I just work in my yarn as I go along. Three, four, five, six, and seven. That's right, and you'll end up. You can always double check this way if you're unsure, because sometimes people can go wrong, but if they match up, that's all you need. So but I've worked seven this side of the join and seven this side of the join. So it's enough to go around the ankle and have a little bit of space for the shoe, the uh, foot, sorry. Um, and then we chained 25 here. So we need to chain 25 this side. Okay, when you have your 25 chains, cut your yarn, pull your yarn through. At this point, before I do the bow, I just tidy up my work. So I'll just pull this here and snip that off. Sorry for the noise of the scissors. I've got a glass on my um, table. And to secure these ends, I just make a knot and just push it up to the end with my nail here, as close as you can get, give it a good pull. And I'll just leave just a couple of millimetres, that's all you need. It's not, gonna, it's not going to uh, undo itself. That's the other side. Okay, now we're ready for the bow. For the bow, do a magic circle. If you're a bit lost on how to do a magic circle, yarn over, pull it to the back like you would do a slip knot. Pull the yarn through. And then chain one. So you have that little ring. That chain one doesn't count as anything. So go ahead and chain two. Then we will place three uh, double crochets into the ring. So one, two, and three. I do apologise about the noise outside. It's the bin collectors and I have my window open because it's really hot here in the UK. So I hope you can still hear me as I'm in mid flow of video. Sorry about that. So chain two, slip into the, uh, into the ring, chain two, and then another three double crochets and then chain two and slip again, chain one, but leave a fair amount of yarn because we need to wrap around the bow. I left about that much. So pull that through. Okay, so pull this uh, initial, oh dear. I'll just leave you here for a second and while the bin men are going. Hello there. Sorry about that. I had to wait for the bin men to go because it was, I completely forgot uh, that it was bin collection day. And not only that, it was the recyclable stuff, which was glass bottles, very noisy. Okay, enough chit chat. So right then, so we've made the boat um, and put your hook through the bottom and pull this through. Okay, so. Oops. I make a knot on the back here. Just one will do because we are going to be wrapping um, around this bow when we attach it to the shoe. So just leave a little bit here. Um, before I attach this, I just wanted to let you know that I showed you how to make the bows previously in the other video and the bow was already wrapped like so and then we tie the knot at the back and that was a ready-made bow that you can then attach to whatever you want but as we're attaching this to the shoe 
that's why I've left the extra yarn. Um, you don't want to do all that wrapping and then do more wraps when you're attaching because it, it will just get too bulky. So uh, grab your needle. Now, how I attach this to make it absolutely perfect because I have got that perfect issues going on. So, right, so one, two, three, and four, those last four sets of double uh, double crochet together. So you want to try and place the bow in the in between the two in the middle. So I hold my bow, align it, sorry, should I say, to the center of that thing here, right here, with the yarn facing up. So put your bow in the central. And then, like I said, we will do the wrapping and attaching together. So pull it down, go through that little hole there. But don't, you don't need to come into the work. Just literally just pop it through there because it will attach it with the wraps. So there's one. And you can go again. I do about four, I would say. You can do more. But do give it a little bit of a tug because we are securing it, but not enough to make the work go wonky. So there's three. I would say one more to give that. And so you can see what we've done is we've attached it and done the wrap to the bow at the same time. And what I tend to do is just make a little, just secure a little knot, like so. And then I don't go in and out where the bow is because you don't want all of this area to get chunky. So I'm going to keep the work nice and f flat for the little one. So just move along somewhere to the end or just to the side, away from the bow section basically. Maybe a couple more. And then do your securing the yarn, which is you should know by now. It's just a couple of backwards and forwards, three or four times. Oops, and that won't come out. Snip your work, and here we are. We have the gorgeous little. Oh, that was the yarn extra there. Like I said, these are for zero to three. And they're just absolutely adorable. You can make them in any colour. The bow is a perfect size the shoe we don't want them too big I mean some people like them big but that's how I like them and then you have enough here I'll just show you quickly to tie and make a little bow absolutely cute not a great bow but there you go it's just for showing your purposes so yeah look at these gorgeous shoes up to three and um, any colour, DK yarn, you can zhuzh them up with different coloured bows. If you don't want the bow, you can make one of the flowers that I showed you, attach a flower to the side or it's central. It's entirely up to you. Be your own boss and create what you want to create. And, uh, and here we have it. So I do hope you do like these cuties and uh, please do like what you see and subscribe to my channel um, you can probably tell by th my uploads I do a lot of baby shoes I just can't get enough of them and um, and please do share this video to anyone who you think would love to make these uh, they're perfect little present for a newborn um, and uh, yeah they, I, you can make these up to six to nine months and I'll put the information in the box below so Thank you for watching my channel and um, I'll see you on the next one.